Reasons why I want that for you, my love. Now you are one to return with my love. My people, what is happening here? What is happening? First of all, you are welcome to my channel. You know, when we want to rest, when we want to relax, when we want to focus our attention on something important they will now bring another new gist for us so my people hmm, that was how i was on my own as usual doing my own thing no as i need that i am hmm. that's how i went to instagram i was seeing news i was seeing news about david Doe and choma wedding my people hmm. i have to dig deeper i have to dig deeper if i don't dig deeper waiting again now i had to dig deeper Deeper, my people hmm. that was how i dug deeper if there's any language like that guys choma west david oh yeah we got a clap 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 they deserve some accolade my people hmm. so fam let's be serious so guys I was walking in the streets of Instagram and I saw Choma words David Doe and I had to dig deeper and it appears that this news is true. Guys, I also saw it on Gist Lover page and you know Gist Lover does not normally lie now so I said okay let me go and dig deeper when I get my facts right, I will come and bring it to you people. Fam, David Doe words Choma, yeah as you can see David Doe has gotten married to Choma, they have done the traditional marriage and the court wedding is coming up very soon. So guys, I don't even know if they've done the court wedding or not, but I know they've done traditional marriage. Do you know this thing happened since November 6th? This is to tell you all that celebrities will only show you what they want you to see. Yes, content creators, celebrities, they will only show you and tell you what they want you to see. So don't conclude on their matter, of course, because they, will, they are only showing you, if their life is 100%, they are only showing you 10%. Yeah, I said it with my full chest, they are showing you 10%. No matter how these people claim to be raw, unfiltered, realistic, genuine, they don't show you every part of their life yes if they show you every part of their life let them show us when they are baiting guys do you know david don't wear that trauma since on the 6th of november and nobody knew and we are just finding out today which is on the 13th of november fam and you all know Davido and Choma, they lost their son. May his gentle soul rest in peace. On the first of November, the news was all over social media that little handsome Ifani has gone to join the Lord. So, and it, it was a news that shook the whole Nigeria, the whole of Africa, in fact, the whole world, because Davido is someone that a lot of people love so much. He's someone that has helped a lot of persons. And the news of the painful demise of his son was something that I know I, I can't even try to imagine what the couple were going through. And even at all that, they still went ahead to do the wedding because according to what I read or according to what I found that they allegedly yeah, said that trauma was like there is nothing for her to hold on to and stuff like that and the video decided to do the wedding so he would know that so trauma would know that she still has him that she still is one and only is it just me or do i i believe that david don't feel something special for trauma among his numerous baby mamas i feel trauma is the special one and you know he has a lot of baby mamas and from what i read and from my findings um others wished him congratulations but a particular one i think sophia mamadu did not call him to even say sorry for the loss of the son you know when cute baby if i um i don't want to use word because of youtube but when we lost cute baby if i i knew that there was more to it and you know davido and choma they announced their wedding ahead of 2023 they were supposed to do their wedding in 2023 and like i was feeling that they just something just happened so th that wedding would not still go through and for them to do it in private now you can feel the connection with what i was saying as at that time you know davido and choma they are a popular figure and not everybody is happy with them not everybody wants them to be together and you know he has some baby mamas and you know normal human being now why would he marry one and leave another so i don't want to really put blame on a particular person but you know how these things work and for them to do it secretly 
this according to my findings he did it in his father's compound with just few relatives and there was no camera around and as you can see so many people were living like i am really very happy for them because in the first place i was like okay David Doe and Choma, they would have even gotten married without anybody even knowing that they were getting married. If you know the way maybe um, Stan, Unze and his wife did, we just saw pictures online. That was how they would have done it. When you know your matter is always ringing bell on social media, better you just carry yourself inside your house and do it secretly, privately. Before you and before you know, before they just announced wedding a few weeks back. Before you know, they lost their baby, and now few days later they did the wedding. So you know, them too, they even know what is happening. I don't know if you are seeing it from my point of view. You can see a lot of people congratulating them. See this Metsy collection said, I guess I'm the only one that finds this post somehow. Lost a son on 30th, and boom, marriage on the sixth. You see what I'm saying? I'm not the only one thinking that way. Congratulations to both of them, but wait, oh, Choma Bright Price paid in full at David Doe's father's house. Where is our Igbo culture? Our father went to his in-laws house, collect money for bright. Just imagine, leave those people that are always thinking a cake, thinking in the olden days. You see, as God, they work enemy in the mud. So happy for them. Now, twin boy, she go born again. Amen, amen. Yes, definitely she will carry another baby. The next person said, God bless you for blessing my day with this. In fact, a lot of us are genuinely happy for, like me for one, I am so happy for them. Like, I am really so happy for them. This person said, it is well, though. their target is majorly trauma. Most of the women they do have met will try to fight back. It is well. That is just the bitter truth. There is no how we want to try and cover it up. The truth is, a lot of people were not happy that they were, it was getting married to trauma last, last. That is just the truth. And me, my man, I was like, are you even sure this wedding will still hold? So, I'm very glad they took all of us by surprise. I've said it before, if you're a celebrity, you're a content creator, it's not everything you put on social media. Okay, they were getting married in 2020. They would have just generally kept it private, move or just see pictures and be happy for them and congratulate them. See, one thing I've realized in this life is anything that is that makes too much noise, I'll put it in layman terms, anything that they make noise too much. Anything where when I announce where they make waves too much does not ever work out. It does not ever become a success. That's what I think and that's what I believe. So this one said, for this life, we'll get a man that got you any day, any time. Of course, they will don't got trauma any day, any time. I just noticed that it's like he loves trauma the most among all the women in his life. This one said, I cried within this. Congratulations, Choma. May God give you the one that will stay. Of course, of course, of course. Congratulations to them. But please, can their news be off social media for now? I believe since they didn't evolve camera, they obviously want this off social media. Exactly my point. Exactly, guys. Exactly my point. A big congratulations to them. We are all happy for them. But please, let their news be off social media. Like, if I said it now, some people will say, and they are celebrities. And so what? They are celebrities. They should just leave them for now. Let them pick back their pieces because it's not easy to lose a child. So it's not easy. So they are should just be off social media and all that. That's why they did it privately. Even if they don't answer, they know why they did this wedding privately. And for them to do it immediately after they lost their son. So you should know that they even understand these things. Anyway, guys, this is my two cents on this topic. I am so happy for them. At least finally, a good news. Not every time in Nigeria we are hearing death, death, death. At least a good news. Congratulations, David and Choma, I know definitely you are not watching this video, but I'm so happy for you. And of course, I know the whole world is very happy with this good news. And of course, I will see you all in another video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, help me share, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you all in another video. Bye.